so but, but, but can you explain to me what, what happened with my when I, I, I kind of oh sorry yes I, yes oh I, yes yes we have to first of all roll your ego attack so that is a three dice attack on him and your ego yeah. is I think 12 is that correct 11 11 okay so 11 on it is just 11 or less on three dice for your attack yeah that's oh, quite okay and is it only, it's only 2d6 is that correct uh, yeah, no, my, I'm rolling. Uh, I'm, well, well, uh, I'm sorry, the I, don't to, I don't mean to, to confuse you. You rolled 3d6, and that is correct. Now, yes. for the effect, we look at the effect, and I believe yeah. that that is listed as 2d6. Yes, it is. Okay, in that case, go ahead and roll, and I will pull out my rules for telepathy to see the effects. Uh, yeah. I roll uh, two fours. That okay. means like two. So that means you're yeah. going to uh, uh, be able to, uh, at this point, you are not really going to rip into his mind. It's still a very minor effect at this time. Yeah. Um, but you are going to be able to send a single thought and you will be able to get one basic concept that is at the surface of his mind at this time. And so okay. the 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 can I just, just like some can I ask you as because a very basic is is he because he, he changed his yes. attitude mm -hmm. and he started and he promised us stuff right. yeah and I want to kind of what I want to know is is he to be trusted okay um, as far as the deep, as far as deep trust is concerned, there's no answer for that from your telepathy. But in the moment, what he's saying, he your presence attack was very effective on him in making him reconsider everything he yeah. was saying. So his motive is the same, whatever it yeah. is. But he is absolutely sincere. He needs this, and he has made a promise. This is what he needs. Yeah, that you have. I understand, but, but first I made a presence attack, then I made my telepathy. Correct. And the presence telepathy. attack changed his his approach and his uh, and, and his willingness to offer information. So what um, I'm basically understanding is that he's not trying to manipulate uh, us with his uh, change of attitude. Oh, he's manipulating, all right, but it is very sincere. He is not lying about anything he is uh, he is offering or asking. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that, 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 that was what my intent. Right. That he may, still wants may, you to do what he wants. That's not going to work. Right. Um, all right. Um, Ooh, that was fun. All, right. all the mechanics I, 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 just kind of went click, click, click. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 mm, um, I think I, I will. I, I, I walk away from him with Huffsman on next to me. And we, like, this like green blobby enormous guy and well this he's not too enormous guy. now <laughs> no right and i think we are on this like island in i'm thinking it's a pretty crappy rock yeah, yeah a crappy yeah. rock right. with a lot of water right. on it and uh, probably some like crabs Upside down. Oh, yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> right. Uh, we, when I, when I'm trying to one moment, we, we had your your infant daughter, and now we have my son. Not a good. Time. Yeah. You take it to mama. Everything with mama now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Cecilia came home from work early, cheerful, fed, and so her reward, the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's her reward. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm sorry about that. Please, I was enjoying everything you were saying. No, but I, I'm trying to get some privacy with Huffsman on here. No problem. And, uh, right. Uh, on this book. So, okay. So, um, what do we do with this guy? He has a lot of information. I don't know, he, but if he, he ever tries to tell me where me where I or any of my family belongs again, I'm going to rip his arms off and beat him to death with him. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, right now I need a drink. I think, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but, uh, what, what, you need a break. No, he says he needs drink. a drink. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, and I need a break. I, I, I think it should be like, um, um, he said something about that you need to go down there and, and take his place. That whatever is down there is now I'm no too. longer in check, I guess, whatever it is or whatever that means. So, I mean, it could be, I guess it could be dangerous for it to be left unchecked. So uh, I'm not saying that it's like no. the idea of you turning into a blob. Membrane, I don't particularly you know, like the idea either, but it may be something we need to at least take a look at. I need I'm to take also, a look at it. You can do whatever you I'm want. I'm also a bit concerned about the things happening at the oh, same time. Grumpy. So I'm sorry, Ola, uh, that's important. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was yeah. just <laughs> commenting on Hausman and his grumpiness. So. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I, I'm also concerned about the things happening in uh, uh, in Kalsborg. I'm. I'm yes. I, do you have somewhere where we can like go? Uh, where we can like? Because do we need this guy exactly right now? Oh, no, he... not at all. Unless he can, unless he has a working phone and he can call for a lift. But we can both get out of here anyway. We can just leave them. He can get his own ride, I guess. Yeah. Let's go then. Uh, All right. And I turn towards um, whatever his name right. is. Tankist, yeah. Tankist. Yeah. All right, Tankist. Um, we understand that uh, uh, that there's a lot of stuff we need. To do uh, and there's a lot of stuff that you need us to do uh, but uh, right now we need to assess and we need to uh, we need to like um, take a, a short break we will call you bye listen to some words from our sponsors <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah. we'll be back that's my that where my my cord just sort of drifts away, yeah. Appears, <laughs> appears. Right. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ex mm -hmm. Okay. Um, to so the sky. The, uh, the only thing I just want to point out as a little caption that, uh, that, that the editor of the comic would put in a little caption right now to remind the reader, you know, uh, see last issue for what Cosmonaut saw down below. Right. Yes. And so that might remind the reader that Cosmonaut actually saw the dead Cosmonaut in the suit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. that, uh, his, that his suit uh, actually the, came the, from whatever uh, strange the ship, ship was down the there. ship or vessel right. down there is definitely right. connected to the suit. But right. I'm not sure that Hafsmanen saw that, so I didn't want to remind right. you of yeah, it. Was, but, <laughs> so that's why, that's, that's why there's a little caption there uh, for the reader. Uh, Right. No. So it doesn't have to affect the characters at the moment. So uh, okay. So basically, I I what I'm so so I haven't forgotten that, but I'm, there's a lot of um, options and paths right oh, yeah. now. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Before even we if we want and even if we want to go down there, it feels like uh, I'm not in any good shape no, to, for no. another confrontation at no, this point. True. So um, so uh, uh, so anyway, though, if you guys want to swim for the mainland, is that where you are going? Or we I can go to my place. To, it doesn't uh, matter. Okay, well, your place is way out there on Vinga. I mean, that's... Yeah. A, that's... We're going south in that Didn't case. We have, uh, well, uh, in the beginning, we, we kind of talked about having a high, uh, like, like a headquarter yes. or something. Sort yes, of we some talked about meeting place. up at uh, Flygans Haga, right? Yeah, and maybe you can get your drink there and I can... And sure. We can just... Uh, so, we can go back there and having more our... Small talk. Meanwhile, let's flee again. Exactly. And I have like your first meeting somewhere. there. <laughs> um, well, there are a number of things that I need to make clear to you. One is yeah. just to amuse ourselves. Both of you are in ordinary clothes, but you are completely soaking wet. <laughs> are completely soaking wet in seawater. So that's not changing. Um, unless you want to do something about that. But I like the idea of you showing up and without making any explanation whatsoever, completely soaked, just 
with perhaps the demeanor of don't ask. <laughs> he looks at you. Right. It's I mean, raining I mean, outside. <laughs> pretty, pretty rainy out there. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. probably always it's always raining in Gothenburg. So so yes. uh, so people will not think that. Oh, why Sudden are they? Shower. So, yeah. So well, it started. Here's, here's my point, though, is that you will not even get there before you recognize that something is uh, socially deeply urgent. Uh, people are uh, frantic. People are people are obviously oh, in shit. the street. They're <laughs> obviously communicating with people on their telephones or they are rushing. Uh, people have left work. Um, there is no... We need to check a news feed right, there, there's, somewhere. There's no specific official direction of traffic or people. But mm. the... Uh, but the police are quite busy and quite frantic trying to keep people from grouping up in small spaces. For example, only so many people are allowed on the, on the, the trams and trains. Okay. And so yet everybody wants to pile into there and they're having to, they're getting some unusually for Swedes, they're getting some back talk from the citizens who do not really feel like, you know, waiting for the next train. And so uh, this is a, uh, you know, the, the, the policemen are, are not in the best frame of mind. And um, I'm, I'm not saying anybody's getting hit or anything like that. It's a different country. But the, uh, the situation is clearly, I mean, you're, you can just tell by walking through the streets. Um, you know, people are, people are, are you know, calling and saying, uh, it's me again. Are you okay? Call me back, right? Yeah. Things like that. I'm not saying you can't go to the the cafe, but on the other hand, you can clearly see just by being there. Uh, I yeah. even kind of like the idea. This is sort of interesting. I like the idea of the cosmonaut of floating down to the uh, <laughs> the the boardwalk, the walkway along the the, uh -huh. the, the canal and mm -hmm. um, the harbor and as soon as he touches down, of course, his costume is gone. And he's he's just walk he was floating and now he's just walking in his ordinary yeah. clothes, soaking wet. And of course Hobsman and just pulls himself right up out of the water right next yeah. to him. <laughs> Hobbs climbs up next to him, you know, kind of adjusts himself a little bit and you know walks along next to him. So uh, but it in the course of getting there and whether you want to go in or not is up to you. Um, but you will find that people are are crowding in there more than they're supposed to, and they are watching uh, the, the the televisions. Um, and a lot of people are on their phone. Just I'll have a look as well. Um, Is this what you were good. talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so that's good. I, I think uh, that, 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 that that's probably room, and we 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 will not be disturbed then. So so. That Everyone's makes, looking the other way. Yeah, that's, <laughs> we are occupied with, with, with other things. We know why people are worried. There has been happening a lot of things out in the well, sea. And Hobsman doesn't know anything about it at all. Oh, you said something about Carlsborg. I have no idea. I don't know anything. So, uh, so, so, uh, so they're, they're not... The, the, the news of the things happening outside... The, the the giant wave and all that stuff that that's gone. They they don't know about that. Well, actually, that's a good point. Um, now that I think about it, I would have to say that uh, perhaps there is more uh, disaster relief. After all, the island was hit pretty hard by the water and by the strange entities. And so, yes, I would have to say that there has been a mobilization. Uh, in fact, I would probably say that the police are. Uh, evacuating the area more aggressively. Um, they just haven't got to you yet. You have they, they no. haven't come to this place yet. Uh, it's probably in the in the in the state where 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 everyone is confused and no one has done the things that we are uh, we uh, we are about to do. Correct. Putting together and so. 